What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today I'm going to be going through the best place to go and hunt within Red Dead Online. I have done videos like this before but it was before the Red Dead Online Frontier Pursuits update and things have slightly changed since then. One of the main things is that the animal spawn has decreased massively. The chances of you seeing the amount of animals that we did see before this update is a lot lower now. It seems like animal spawn rate has been reduced massively which has meant that you are not able to get as many animals which then means you're not able to go and sell as many animals at the butchers or you're not able to go and donate as many animal parts to cribs at the camp. Before the Frontier Pursuits update I used to say that tall trees was the best place to go and do a bit of hunting. What you have around here is Blackwater just around the corner you then have Strawberry just above you but this location here offers a lot of different animals. You can go and get deers, you can go and get pro horn bucks, you can go and get elks. There are also cougar locations which you can find at the Manzanita Post and also here if you are going to go into Blackwater there are also another two cougar locations located at this spot and also there is another one at this spot. At the Manzanita Post if the cougar doesn't spawn in what you have a chance of getting is a bear instead. Sometimes I have actually had one of each. Also whilst riding through tall trees you can just come across a massive grizzly bear anyway spawns anywhere within this location as well as you can find yourself a number of smaller baby bears which are a lot easier to go and take down, go and skin, and go and take to the butchers. This is still by far one of the best locations to go off and do a bit of hunting within Red Dead Online, but the problem is these animals have been reduced massively, which means the chances of going to get the cougars as often as what we once did has been lowered massively. So what I now do is actually increase the distance that I go and do a bit of hunting. So I will carry on going to this location and hunting within tall trees, but I have now extended it all the way up to Big Valley above Strawberry. So pretty much when I go hunting, these are the areas that I look at. It means when I go and start off in Blackwater, I go and head all the way over to Tall Trees. I go to the Cougar locations to see if any spawn in. I try and see if I can find any bears. I will then kill and hunt down every single animal that I come across. Make sure I skin it. Make sure I go and store it on the back of my horse. Any animal parts that fit into my satchel, I'll store them into my satchel. And then I'll gradually make my way up. It means that I'll be coming across bears, cougars, white-tailed deers, prohorn bucks, elks within this location as well as I can get some smaller animals with it being birds, rabbits, maybe I can get some toads as well in this area and then I slowly push my way up to Strawberry and then go all the way over to Big Valley. Big Valley then offers the similar animals. You can still go and get deers, you can go and get pro horn bucks, you can then go and get elks as well. There's not as many cougar locations, there is one at this location but ever since the Frontier Pursuits update I haven't really had a spawn in that much. Big Valley is also open which means you can see for quite some distance. You can see all the different birds that will fly over which is a lot easier to go and kill compared to tall trees because of tall trees having a lot of tall trees it's hard to look up and see the birds that are flying over i'm not saying that you can't go and see them and i'm not saying that you can't go and kill them it's just a bit trickier to do because there are trees in your way but with big valley it's a lot more open which means you can go and see combining both of these means you're going to get a lot of different big animals medium animals and also you're able to go and get the small animals whether it be in rabbits and also the birds that will fly over Top. I am massively disappointed that Rockstar have reduced the amount of animals that spawn in within certain areas and as of right now this is the way that I'm getting around it. I'm just increasing the distance that I end up hunting. It used to be a lot easier to go and do a bit of hunting where I would just go to tall trees. Now I have to go to tall trees, travel all the way up to Big Valley which is actually quite a bit of a distance especially when you are taking your time trying to kill every single animal you come across and also if you are going to take the hunting wagon down that route it is very difficult to go and take that wagon off road. One thing that I am able to do in some lobbies that does make my life a bit easier sometimes and the reason I say sometimes is because it comes down to camp spawns and whether or not you can actually set up your camp. I know there are a lot of problems right now with the camp where if you go and ask to set up your camp what it ends up doing is just flickering on your screen and the camp actually just never ever gets set up. It's very very irritating if that happens but if you are able to go and set up your camp and carry on bringing it down and setting it up what you can can do is go and set up a camp within Big Valley and then as you are going through Blackwater all the way through tall trees and make your way up to Big Valley you can then donate all your animal parts to the camp to cribs for him to then go and make goods out of it. After you've done that and you want to go and make your way back down through this route where you are going through Big Valley and then all the way down to tall trees and then ending up in Blackwater what you can then actually do is go and change your camp location to go and set it up in the Great Plains that way every time you go up or down you are then eventually 
donating animal parts to cribs to then go and make goods out of it. Now, like I said, this is one of those things where if you can do it and you haven't had any problems with your camp and setting it up, definitely go and do it. If not, and you are someone that is having problems with this, unfortunately, you might as well just set up a camp within one location and then keep it there. No point risking it, trying to change camp location if you do struggle to go and set up your camp. It is a massive problem right now and I hope eventually that this will get fixed and as soon as it is fixed you can then go and do the previous version which is set up a camp within one location head up there and then as soon as you are heading back down again change your camp location it just saves yourself a lot more time but anyway guys this is the hunting location that i still think is the best hunting location within red dead online things gradually change as it gets more and more updated with this one it was a massive change for me of how i had to go and change up how i'm going to do a bit of hunting because of them reducing the amount of animal spawns and like i said it is very very irritating that they've done that and hopefully within the next couple of weeks maybe even the next update they actually increase the spawn rates again but i doubt that will happen but we have to wait and see leave it in the comments down below of your guys favorite places to go hunting there's a lot of good places to go hunting whether it be charles springs where it be all the way up in roanoke ridge but leave it in the comments down below of your favorite place to go and do a bit of hunting within red dead online but anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going so see ya